Iris D, the world's most advanced air defense system, is already in Ukraine. Ukraine is in dire need of missile defense. This is nothing new, of course. Russia's brutal assaults have gone on since February. Ukraine only has outdated Soviet-designed air defense systems, and the stocks are being depleted. On October 10 and 11, Russia fired a volley of missiles. They targeted power stations and civilians in major cities. The UN has labeled the attack a war crime. Germany was the first to act. For months, it has promised to deliver for Iris T's to Ukraine. Now it has sped up the process. The first system was delivered on October 11th. But what makes it so valuable? Iris T stands for Infrared Imaging System Tail, Thrust Vector Control. Originally, it was a next generation short-range air-to-air missile. The German-led project was launched to replace the AIM-9 Sidewinder. It's currently among the most advanced of its class. The Iris D missile is extremely fast. It boasts state-of-art electronics and unmatched maneuver ability. The missile utilizes infrared homing. This means that it tracks its targets by following their heat signature. However, the Iris D is also a smart missile. It can distinguish between the target and its countermeasures. It also has high resistance to electronic countermeasures. The Iris D is one of the best missiles today. It has a powerful motor, which gives it a speed of Mach 3. It's armed with a high explosive proximity, fuse triggered fragmentation warhead. The thrust vector tail control system provides maneuverability. The missile is a lot more maneuverable than any fighter jet. Its range is just 15 miles, but that should be sufficient. Other advanced features include lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch. This means the Iris D can hit track targets behind its launch platform. It's accurate enough to intercept any incoming missiles. One Iris D missile costs around $455,000. Compare it to the cost of a KH-101 $13 million or a caliber $6.5 million. Russia's latest strikes costed a whopping $700 million, yet they failed to do much but bring more misery. The effect on the battleground was zero. The air defense version of the Iris T is called the Iris T SL. SL stands for surface launched. This variant has a better motor, improved range, GPS, and a data link. It comes in two variants, the SLS, short range, 7.5 miles, and the SLM, medium range, 25 miles. It's the second variant that has been delivered to Ukraine. The SL version is radar guided and has a pointed nose. It incorporates a jettisonable drag reducing nose cone. The missile uses a GPS-based inertial navigation system. The data link is used for command guidance. During the initial approach, the interference resistant IR seeker head is activated at the terminal stage. Operational testing of the Iris D SLM was only completed in January 2022. Thus, Ukraine is the first country in the world that will use it against unsimulated targets. Putin must be really mad right now.